Hi, it's Sandy Perger. Welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. It's exciting today because I'm going to be casing a card. I don't know if you know what that means, but it means that I'm going to be copying someone else's card. Not just anyone else's card. And if you know me, you know I'm not normally prone to do that. But um, before I started doing my YouTube channel, I went to a stamp show. And there was a lady there named Linda Bowen. She is a Stampin' Up! representative, and she calls herself the cardiologist of cards, and she has a lovely YouTube channel. She's been on the, on the computer for many years, but she's also really worked hard at being a Stampin' Up! representative. She was very, very, very encouraging to me, told me all kinds of things that I needed to know. I would email her. She would email me back immediately. She was just so very helpful and gracious, and I feel that I really should return the favor. Not by casing her card, but you'll understand in just a second. Linda is very close to selling a million dollars worth of products in Stampin' Up!, and that that sounds like, um, geez, anybody could do that, but it's rare that anybody accomplishes that feat, and she's been doing it for many years, so it's not like this is a flash in the pan type thing. Linda also, in the last um, year, lost her husband, so this is a very bittersweet event for her when she does uh, hit the million dollar mark. In the next week or so, she should hit that mark. I am asking that if you don't have a Stampin' Up! representative and you find anything that I have on this card that you're interested in, I will give you Linda's email address and I would so appreciate it if you would go to her and um, and buy, buy whatever is it is that you're interested in um, from Stampin' Up! She has some special offers going as well. I'll put everything uh, as far as her contact information in the comments, as I always do, but uh, I get nothing out of this other than the, um, the warmed heart of knowing that someone who's done so much for me is hitting such a great milestone and at such a difficult time in her life. So with that, I'd like to make this tower card in honor of Linda, and hopefully this will um, spur you into maybe buying something from Stampin' Up. Uh, they have a, an event going on until the end of March called Celebration. If you buy $50 worth of things, you get uh, um, other things for free. You get you can pick paper or stamp sets. You can pick all kinds of things. But um, Linda also is giving additional giveaways if you make orders with her. So I really encourage you to go to her site. It's called, um, I think it's stampingwithlinda.com, but I'll make sure I, I'm clear on that and I have it in the notes. What we're going to be using today is a stamp set that is available now through Stampin' Up. It's called Picture Perfect, and I'm going to stand up because I want to get this close but not have glare on it. It's called Picture Perfect, and it has um, four stamps to make this hummingbird. So you can make um, the, the chest on it a different color, and then you make all the different um, parts of the bird. It has some great sayings. You are made of wonderful, dream without fear, love without limits, our hearts decide who is family. Hope like crazy. You are the just the nicest. This is one of the stamps we're using today. There are some lovely flowers in here as well as um, a starfish. And I think that's a leaf to go with the flower. Anyway, this is a great stamp set. I just bought it and um, love it. And uh, all the papers I'm using are from Stamping Up. Most of the punches I'm using are from Stamping Up. The ink I'm using is from Stamping Up. So let's get started with our card. It's called a tower card because when you get it, it stands up like a tower. So you can stand it on your desk. But it folds flat in your envelope like this. I had some problems where I dropped it in my ink pad after the fact. And I'm kind of embarrassed about that. But this is just my sample card. And then on the back, I put Hope Like Crazy. 
and um, yeah, this is where it dropped in the ink again. This paper, you probably don't recognize, this was the paper that I used in my watercolor video, which, which watercolors are right for you, and I finished the whole page of watercoloring. So that's the one that I made, and we're going to make one to go with it. It starts with a regular piece of cardstock that's eight and a half by, excuse me, I'm trying to get my scoreboard up here without rolling out of my chair, eight and a half by five and a half, and we're going to score it. You know this is all going to be in the comments, but I'll tell you anyway. We're going to score it at the two inch, the four inch, the six inch, and the eight inch. Oh, sorry about that noise. You know I hate that. And the eight inch. That's the extent of our scoring. Then we're going to fold it. I like to get my folds in there so that just so that um, they're clean and um, well defined right up front. This is an easy card to make. It's fast. It's just a matter of um, cutting, cutting the strips and gluing them down, basically, and then finding a sentiment you like and going from there. Now, the trick to this card is this little flap, that half inch that you have extra from the eight and a half inch paper. You're going to put a piece of tear tape. You can use um, uh, wet glue. You can use um, score, score tape. You can basically use whatever you want, but make sure it's a really strong adhesive because you want to make sure that that um, holds because this is the thing that's going to really keep your card together. Of course, it's attached to me, as all sticky things are. I'm not going to adhere it yet. Now, the thing you have to remember is once you lay it down, it's going to be laying like this because your back fold you want back there back fold back there. Okay, you want your opening that you're going to close up to be in the back. Okay, that made more sense, didn't it? So we're going to, I already um, adhered my my um, papers. I'm using a light blue cardstock. I'll put all the information. These are all Stampin' Up! papers. Um, a light blue cardstock <clears throat> that measures five and a quarter inches by one and three quarters inches. We're going to put that, we're going to put these two on the front because our um, flower, maybe it goes this way. Yeah, that makes more sense, huh? Because then our daisy is all cohesive. So we're going to I think I've told you this before, but when I put down cardstock that I have to center, I like to do it where I turn it, I turn the paper, geez, I forgot already which way this goes, it goes like that, okay, so it goes over here. Um, I like to turn the paper on its side because when I turn on its side, I can see three of my four sides, so I know that if it's kind of centered on this side and these two, then the other side should be centered. I wanted to show you one of the stamp sets, I when I ordered this, um, Picture Perfect set. <coughs> Excuse me, I got this Botanicals for You. I really like it. It's got all kinds of really nice sentiments. And I'm going to be doing something with foil with that Just for You. I thought it was really lovely. And I bought some gold and silver pre um, pre made cards at uh, Michael's when they were having a sale around Christmas time. So I have a bunch of those and I'd like to make note cards for my friends with them and I thought that would be a great way to use some of them up. Oh, that's, hopefully I can pull that back off. It's way too far over. Come on, baby. Oh, that's a miracle, isn't it? I don't know why I couldn't see that green. Okay, that's better. Better. Okay, so that's that side of the card. Now this is our back, and on our back, on the right side, we're going to put this just a note. Maybe before I do that, I want to put my, I have some embellishments. 
Mm, I'll just put my embellishments on once it's on the card. I'm going to live in the edge. Live in the dream. This one goes this way. So anyway, um, I'm excited about this card because I have never done a tower card before. And because Linda just did it, it was the very last thing she's done on her site. I thought it would be fun that I followed her example and did a card that was just like the card she just made. Don't they say that when someone, um, when someone, what is that called? Basically, when someone does what you do, that's the best form of, of flattery. What is that? Ugh, I can't think of that saying. Why can't I think of that saying? I don't know. Oh, here's another problem. I wasn't wearing my glasses. Maybe that's why I couldn't see anything. <laughs> uh, sometimes I scare myself. I hope I don't scare you guys as bad as I scare myself. I do want to tell you guys about my mixed media tag and all the lovely comments I've gotten from people telling me that they thought I, w I did okay. And I'm really happy about that because, as you know, I was a little bit worried about that. It was um, I don't feel comfortable with that process, but I am going to be using that jelly plate. All right, here's how you do this. This is really easy. All you do is you just fold the card, push down on it, and there you have it. That's how you do that. Wasn't that easy? I mean, how hard could that be? I don't know. Wasn't it hard? Then we're going to lay down some of these little embellishments. I'm going to use tacky glue for that. These are little flowers that I use the Stampin' Up! Punch for. They're a mini flower. Don't know if they're still available. Then I use this punch for sentiment. And then I use a Martha Stewart leaves for our leaves. I'm using Stampin' Up! Snail, which is their adhesive for our um, adhesive. <laughs> that made sense, didn't it? Anyway, that's what I'm using. And um, I'm putting, and hopefully, let me see if you can see this. I'm trying to put a pretty decent sized gob of... Um, glue on here because I want to lay my leaves right into that and then I'm going to lay it right there. Voila! Should have put on that side because I have a little bit of uh, ink. Who cares? We're going with who cares anymore. I'm going to make a mistake. I'm just going to go with it. It's my new plan. Although I did, I, I'm telling you, I saw a video where somebody told me how to get rid of mistakes, and I think it was Jennifer McGuire, and what she said she did was something with an eraser, but it had to be a good eraser, and I don't know, it it was kind of um, involved, and I immediately forgot what she said, which is unfortunate, because I really would have liked to have remembered it. I'm trying to bring the purple color um, all around my card, because I liked it, and I thought it made the card pop. And I loved that super big um, Black Eyed Susan. And I thought it really, I thought it, it really needed to make a statement on the card. Okay, now what we're going to do, this was that stamp I said that I used from the stamp set called Picture Perfect. It says, you are just the nicest. I used Blackberry Bliss ink, and it's, again, Stampin' Up! ink. And I punched this out twice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off these little notches right in the center, right there, because I don't want those. Then I'm going to cut straight across. It doesn't matter if it's straight or not. Straight is not a consideration at this point. You don't really care if it's straight. Now you're going to put some glue on um, just the upper part of your green, uh, your green backing. And then you're going to just layer it behind and hopefully you can see that let me move this out of the way see how now it's layered on the bottom we do this the same at the top the reason I stamped you are the nicest as high as I did is I wanted to put the um, more of those flowers on this punched out piece that 
piece. Then I'm going to put, you're going to want your embellishment. Oh, you think I got enough there? Got a little glue there. You're going to want your embellishment to be on the right side because when you do this, you're going to, um, oh, and I'm going to make this one shorter by cutting down to the uh, the stem on the next, above the next uh, set of leaves. Um, what we're doing now is we're making sure that this is um, going to be glued only to half of our card because remember it's got to go like this as a, it's a cube so it's going to go it's only going to be glued on one side follow that whoops I hope you do so we're just going to put some glue toward the middle but not oh no I glued it on the wrong side Ugh. well I'm going to do it the other way then you know I'm always open to idea changes and I'm going to do it I got a little glue I didn't want over there. Okay. I'm going to do it so that I'm as high up in the card as I can be because I don't want my um, sunflower to be obscured. I'm going to put a clip on that um, clothespin because I want to make sure it stays. And since I used um, glue that's, that's um, wet glue you never know if it'll move or not so I just to make just to be on the safe side we're gonna do that so there's our card it is um, I call it a tower card and here's the back and when you stand it up when the person gets it they just put it like this on their desk and they have a lovely little card I think it's such a cute idea um, I hope if you are looking for any Stampin' Up! products, and again, uh, March 30th is the end of celebration, so every $50 you spend, you get uh, an additional product out of their celebration catalog free. As I said, this is the one I got. They have all kinds of different things you can get. Um, I'm not, one more time, I just want to say this. This is not something that I am making any money on or getting any products from. This is just my way of thanking Linda for being so wonderful to me. And I hope that you can appreciate that because she is such a lovely lady and has been through such a terrible year. And having sub something as wonderful as this million dollar in sales happen at such a difficult time in her life, I just would like to help her if we can at all. Thank you so much for watching, and please try this card. Please tell your friends about it on Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.